pancake thin. If I had a dollar for every time I had to, we gotta do better. welcome back to my channel so in today's video we're gonna get nitty-gritty and continue talking about Punta Cana's Rio Republica um, that we stayed at for our bachelor's trip so if you haven't already checked it out make sure you give that a watch and then it will kind of be unbiased version of our stay so it is my understanding that Rio has a bunch of hotels in the Dominican Republic Punta Cana specifically I don't know if they have other locations, but these are the ones that I know of. We stayed at the Rio Republica in the Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. So out of all the Rios, we stayed at Republica. So this review is specifically for Republica. By the way, if you haven't already checked out our vlog to the Dominican Republic for my brother's bachelor's trip, make sure you check it out right here. Okay, so starting with the cons, I have my phone here and I'm going to be looking at it because I made sure I wrote it down on my drive to the airport so that I did not forget, okay? One of the things that immediately made its way to the group chat was the water pressure. The water pressure was, for some reason, it was really low, but if I'm being honest, they have a lot of rooms, so I'm guessing if they have to circulate that much water across the rooms, that's what's causing the water pressure, but I still don't feel like that's a good excuse because if you come to a hotel, you want, you know, you want the pressure to really give and feel like you took a good shower, especially after all the festivities. So the other thing that was a big issue personally for me was the key card. If I had a dollar for every time I had to go back to the front desk to get my card like redone because somehow my phone like, demagnetized it I couldn't buy mascara yeah and it was just overwhelming because first of all you have to understand the size of Rio Republica it is huge I didn't personally count the room but every floor has rooms that go around in circles and there's different sec sections of it I would like to say like four different quadrants of it so it's huge it's not a small hotel so if you for some reason have to go back to the front desk you're looking at a five to ten minute walk maybe i'm exaggerating okay maybe i'm exaggerating but you're looking at a long walk back to the lobby and then a long walk back and it was terrible because you go to the pool the sun is shining and the last thing you want to do is like take a trip all the way down to the lobby and take a trip all the way back there was even one incident that when I went down and came back with the keys, like literally holding my phone in one hand and the keys in the other hand just so that they wouldn't touch. When I got back upstairs, it wasn't working. And I was so pissed because every day, at least twice a day for the four days that we stayed there, I had to go downstairs to go get a new card. And all the boys experienced this and it's just not okay. They need to either find a different system for their keys or find a way to include it in the bracelet. Something's got to give, but that was not acceptable. Another thing was the broken elevators. Mind you, I don't think I said this in the beginning. I've been to this specific Rio Republica two years ago, like right out of COVID, and the elevator wasn't working. The same elevator two years, almost three years later, still doesn't work. I was flabbergasted, literally. It was, how can you not fix it in three years? It's a huge hotel and imagine having to walk all the way back to the lobby but having to take the stairs up and down because the elevator doesn't work. I just feel like that's not okay. The one time that I really felt it was on our way up, it had been raining and there was a lady with a cane and she had walked all the way to this elevator only to discover that it wasn't working. So she had to walk all the way to the other side, take an elevator up and walk all the way to her room, which was on our quadrant. And I can only imagine the hell it is because as somebody who is like younger and supposed to be fit, it 
I was out of breath when I got to the fourth floor. Those flights are long, so I can only imagine how it was for this poor old lady. I don't know what's going on, but Rio Republica, y'all better count y'all days because that's unacceptable. Something that happened, and maybe it was a one-off, the lights went out. I'm talking about Ghana style, like poof, like lights out. And I was like, what just happened? Like. I must be dreaming. I must be making this up. I had to text the group chat and I was like, y'all saw that? And they were like, yeah, the lights went out. And sure enough, it went out a second time. So I don't know what that was about. Maybe it was a one-off. Maybe it was because it was thunderstorming. But perhaps you guys should consider a backup generator. I mean, that was unacceptable. And the water pressure, believe it or not, I was in the shower when that happened. It got lower, like almost like nothing was on. I had to like shake out the shower head like it was insane another thing that i did not like and it's starting to sound like i have a lot to say about things i don't like but hear me out the bedding was like first of all the mattress was really hard but i understand that some people like firm and some people like soft so you gotta kind of find the balance that was fine but the pillows the pillows was like pancake thin if i put all three pillows in one it wouldn't even be enough for just my head let alone it be enough for my husband to use like if you watch my vlog which is over here you'll notice that not even once did I even show the room because I just didn't even want that to be associated with the vlog because it was that bad it was just not okay something about those pillows really pissed me off when I walked in the room I went into my brother's room to see if he had the same pillows I went into the guy's room to see and we all had the same pillows I'll be okay if you gave me one fluffy pillow but to cut cut that one pillow up into three it's insane we gotta do better another con that i have is the food the food <laughs> and i understand resort food is typically not good because they have to cook for the masses and they have to like rotate things and they have to spin it around but two times i tasted food that was spoiled one of them was the flan literally i put a bite in my mouth and i spit it out and i don't spit out food if it's nasty i'm at least gonna tough out that bite i have in my mouth and i had to spit it out because it literally tasted like somebody farted in my mouth it was disgusting and i don't know how the food was still out there also there were flies everywhere in the cafeteria I personally love the mangoes. It was the one thing that tasted authentic. It tasted like mangoes back home, so I was eating that up. When I got there, there was flies everywhere on the mangoes. I was like, I'm not about to eat that. And sure enough, I did get sick from eating the food. On the flight home, uh, it, was, it was a gross experience. And I'm just, I personally expected to have authentic Dominican food when I came to the Dominican Republic, so... I guess the variety is because of the different types of people that they're going to have at the resort, but that still doesn't justify why the food didn't taste good. And you can really tell that they were just recycling the food throughout the hotel, even though menu that they had that was like an a la carte menu or like the restaurant that you come to sit in the evening from the buffet that I guess somebody's making back there, but with different plating. One thing, and I guess I will put this in the pro section was the jerk chicken. The jerk chicken was actually really good. I saw a family leaving and they had their luggages and they literally came to the sand because you had to walk through the sand to get to the jerk chicken bar and they got jerk chicken before they left. That's how good that was and my mouth is even watering talking about it but that's one of the good things that they had there. So the rooms are pretty standard. They tell you there's an ocean view but it's really more like a lateral view. You're seeing the ocean from the corner of your eyes. The one that actually faced the ocean doesn't give you the best views because the palm trees are covering it and there's the pool. So, so either you get the lateral view of the ocean or you're in front of it and getting the pool situation happening for you. Because if I'm going on vacation, I want to see something different that I, when I look out my window at home, I'm not getting in. We like practically begged for an ocean view and they were, they basically said, the lateral view was the best they can do. I wasn't crazy about the rooms. It was a little outdated. The stuff were rusted and I think I didn't even do my research to see how old it was but I think it's pretty old and it's time for an upgrade. 
Now, I know I said a lot of bad things about this hotel, but I want to end off on a positive note because there are a few things that are worth noting and I want to be able to do that in this video. So one of the pros is that they have a variety of restaurants. So although the food may be recycled food, you are definitely getting different vibes. They have like an Italian restaurant, an Indian restaurant, a steakhouse, what was the other one? Asian cuisine. They do their best to give you a different vibe for a different night. That way you don't feel like you're eating the same thing over and over. And yeah, I like that because even though it was the same food, I got to kind of dress up to suit the restaurant's need and make it feel like I was doing something else even though I knew for sure that I was just doing the same thing over and over. I mean, eating the same thing over and over. They have nice spots. So if you want to go to a resort where there's different vibes at different places, this is this is the good place. There's a different vibe in the main lobby, there's a different vibe in like the main stage, there's a different vibe on the other side, which is like a smaller stage. And there's just different vibes happening at different corners. Another thing that I liked was that they had multiple pools. They had a main big pool, that's really where the bar was at. But then they had like a smaller pool, they had a water slide, behind that was a, another pool that was open 24 hours. They had different pockets, so if one pool was full, you can go to another pool and if there was a different vibe there, you can kind of catch that. So another great find at Rio Republica was that they had activities ongoing. So. In our experience, some of our activities got canceled due to weather and other reasons, but we were able to find something to do on the resort almost every day. Like sometimes there were things that we didn't even plan. There were time slots that we were like, what will we do? But because there was activities happening all the time at the hotel, we were able to partake. So it ended up working out well. One thing I realized is that they have ongoing activities. So even if it's not at our resort, it's at a different Rio resort. They specifically work on busing people to and from the hotel. I thought that was nice. It didn't come at an additional cost and you could basically have a good time on another resort as part of the hotel's planning. I thought that was amazing. I haven't seen many hotels do that. If there's an activity that's off the resort, typically you do have to pay for a cab fee to go to the other location, but they didn't do that at Ryu. Thumbs up. Y'all doing good in that department. <laughs> well, here are my overall takeaways from Ryu Republica. Ryu Republica is a great place to go on a budget in the Dominican Republic. I honestly think it has the great balance of food, fun, activities, and all that sort. Looking to have a change of scenery, go have a good time with maybe a girl's trip, a guy's trip, a uh, family trip, I feel like that is the place to go. You get to have a lot of activities, everybody gets to partake in different things of their liking. The sand is soft, the drinks are okay, and I feel like you will have a good time. So Reading Republic wasn't personally my favorite because I went with my husband and the boys. Ultimately, we don't club, we don't do a lot of activities that were taking place, and I hope, I hope, I hope this land how I'm trying to say it. If you are into like a place where you'll be in the pool enjoying the time with you know your the people that you're traveling with and you're watching like a twerk competition somebody like flashing like if if that's your vibe I guess single married whatever but if that's y'all vibe like you want to see people twerking you want to see people like drinking you want to see people just passed out under a tree you want to see people coming home in a wheelchair because they drank too much like you will get that at Rio Republic like I guarantee it and if that's your vibe you're gonna have a good time personally I went for my brother's bachelor's trip honestly I ended up sleeping because there is a lot to see and a lot to do so I would probably either reach out to the hotel and try to find what activities are taking place at what time and I could have probably ended up saving a lot of money knowing what activities were going to take place at the resort. But overall, I think that it was beautiful. It has so much potential and hopefully the owners of the Rio Republic like do something about the things that aren't going well because like I said, it's one of the 
places with the most amenities I've ever seen in terms of size. There's potential there, so I hope that they do what they need to do. Put a little facelift to Re Republica. I personally, I am done. I am not going back a third time, ever. <laughs> But if you do find yourself out there, I would love to know what has changed. Have they improved? Are the keys working better? And if you've already been there, I would love to know your experience as well in the comment section. All right, that's all I have for today for the Rio Republica in Dominican Republic, Punta Cana. And I hope you enjoyed this video. See you in my next one. Bye.